Hey everyone, this is Jillian Graham. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to manage your Chrome profiles effectively. If you don't know what a Chrome profile is, you have probably been in a situation where you have multiple people logged on to your Chrome browser at once, and switching between them can be a nightmare. So you'll click on a link, it'll open in the wrong, wrong profile, or you're trying to save something to your Google Drive and it saves it to the wrong account and you can't find it. There's just a slew of issues that can come up if you are not using Chrome profiles. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video and show you how to pin them to your taskbar so that you can access them quickly. So chances are the way that you, if you have not, if you don't have any experience with Chrome profiles, you probably go here and switch accounts this way, which can cause major issues especially for students if they're working in uh, on their parents' laptop and they're doing assignments for Google Classroom and they're going to try to turn things in. They created in a different account. They don't realize it. They can't turn it in. They don't know why. It's because their account has switched. So you, you really want to create a Chrome profile specifically just for those students in your house, household or for each individual person in your household that is using um, the device. Now, this is not for Chromebooks. Chromebooks, you actually you sign in with your account information. Um, so those are completely different. But this is just for PCs, Macs, um, personal devices, laptops, and whatever. So if I switch accounts, let's just say I switch accounts, right? So it looks like I'm in this account, right? So we'll ignore this little one up here, which is what most people do. <laughs> But if I look, I'm, I'm in my work account, right? Okay, so if I go and open a new slides, I'm in my work account, right? Wrong. I have switched now to my um, personal account. So I would be creating this in my personal account. If you don't pay attention to that, it's in the wrong account. You think you created it in your work account, and you can't find it. <laughs> so let me show you how to create Chrome profiles so you do not have to deal with the account switching business. So I'm going to go to this up here instead of switching here. I'm going to go to this right here and you can see that I already have Chrome profiles set up for my work account and for my husband when he uses my uh, laptop he has his own information that syncs his bookmarks and his extensions and everything. So if I switch to my work account it's going to open an entirely new Chrome window or browser and it's got my all my folders because I'm syncing my information these are all my work folders my extensions extensions that I use for my work account this is my Chrome profile for work and then if I switch back to my personal account it's going to um, this one where I have my own bookmarks and extensions for my personal so to do this to add a new person I'm just going to click on um, the icon up here, right next to this extensions in the Chrome browser, not in Google itself, but right here. And I am going to just click add down here. You can also go to settings um, to if you need to remove any of these people or any of these um, profiles, you can click to remove that person if you want to. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to add my other personal account because I have another one and I'm going to add a person here and I'm just going to name it so you can pick um, an icon for it and then later on you can go back and change it um, to a photo if you want to why am I having such a hard time let's just pick this one <laughs> no, I'm for it. okay all right, so I'm going to hit add. Now, notice it opened up a brand new browser, um, and it's asking me to get started. I'm already a Chrome user, so I'm going to click sign in instead. And I'm going to sign in with that account. Okay, so... After I've signed in with my um, Gmail account and password, I am going to turn on sync. Um, the reason why I want to do that is because if I have created any bookmarks, which this is a 
Moomer personal account, so I don't even know if I have any yet. But if I do my bookmarks, my um, my extensions, everything, I want to sync. Now, this is my personal computer. I'm not doing this at the library on some public computer. You would not want to sync your passwords and history and all of that. So um, make sure you're doing this on a personal computer. You, you might even want to think about syncing your personal profile at work as well. Um, that's probably, that might be something that you don't want to do. All right, so now I have added this um, additional profile. So if I go back to one of my other ones, I can see I have my personal account, my second personal account, um, my husband's account, and then of course this is my work one that I'm on currently. Okay. Now let's look at how to add these to your taskbar. So you'll see that I already have these two pinned to my taskbar. So even if I close these out, if I close those out they are still there I use those both literally every day I uh, I open both of these and work in both of those um, every day so I have those pinned this one I probably wouldn't pin but I'm just going to show you how to do it as an example while it's open so I have it open if I close it out it's going to disappear so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to pin it to my taskbar so now even if I close it out, okay, it's still there, and then I can open that one. I can still go here and open the other ones from here. I just like to be able to click down here. I just click, click as soon as I um, log on on my computer, and I get both loaded up because I toggle back and forth from this a lot. But there you have it. This is how you want to manage your Chrome profiles. Create one for each family member that is going to be using your laptop and have them work in their profile only so that things don't get confusing when they are uh, searching or if they're creating documents um, or if they want their own bookmarks so your bookmarks aren't getting crossed between accounts. Um, it just makes things so much easier to manage. Another thing that comes up a lot is with um, work managed, if you're a teacher, work managed Chrome profiles, a lot of times you can't create incognito windows. So you can see that's not an option here. I can't create an incognito window for my school managed account because this is managed by my um, school domain. But I can do that on my personal. So since I have a separate personal Chrome profile, I can create that new, the incognito window here. I love using incognito windows to check links for students to make sure they're not going to have any sign-in issues or access issues to different things that I've linked for them. So if you have those separate Chrome profiles, you can still um, access those incognito windows on your personal computer. Okay, so hopefully that helps manage all of those different Chrome accounts. And as always, let me know if you have questions in the comments and I will try to answer them. And please like and subscribe to support my channel. And thanks for watching.